Hi, this is Robert from Part Fusion Electronics. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to go about powering one of my giant LEDs. In the legs, there's a two millimeter banana plug connector and included with the giant LED is two male banana plug connectors. And these can just be connected in or pushed in. And then using something like cocktail clips, you can power the LED. Uh, the voltage from three to 30 volts has been tested. I've also created an add-on printed circuit board, which has power. It's got USB-C, JST battery. There's two of those. There's also a DC barrel jack. So that's a 5.5 with a 2.1 center, millimeter center pin. It's also got a switch. So that can also be used to uh, power your giant LED. So you just plug it into, so you can plug it into a, a DC barrel jack. And then you can switch it on and off. Our standard kind of LiPo battery pack. And the two of them allows you maybe to daisy chain or to, if you're gonna kind of have it mounted vertically so you can power it from the side like that as well. And then there's also standard USB-C. And so that can be powered off a wall adapter. A lot of USB battery banks have inbuilt circuitry that turns them off if there's not enough current being drawn. Because the LED only needs 20 milliamps, that's usually below what is required to keep a battery bank on. So that's just something to be aware of. Not all battery banks will be suitable. Uh, but I think most uh, wall plug-in adapters should be okay. So some soldering is required if you want to use the power adapter. I've already soldered the two millimeter banana plugs and the USB-C and the required resistors. So the first step is to solder the JST battery connectors. So both of those can be plugged in at the same time, the kind of vertical and the horizontal. And if we flip that old over, so you just need a standard soldering iron and some solder. And they can just be soldered. So there I've soldered the two connectors on. I would then solder the DC barrel jack. I can slide in there. And again, again, this is this is only very, this is very basic soldering skills required. And, and then the last component to solder in is the switch. So I can test that now with the DC power jack. So there's two other optional features on the printed circuit board. Here we have a spacing for, you could put a, a screw terminals, which are not included in the kit into here, or you could just solder in wires to these two points here. And there's also, if you don't want to use the switch at all, there's a little solder point here that we can use if we just apply some solder between these two pads here, it will short out the switch so that it, if you want it to be constantly on, maybe you have a switch as part of your power supply. If you want to use some external device for controlling on and off features. After, after soldering, these um, wires can then just be cut off with a pair of side cutters. Thank you. Bye-bye.